welcome back to my channel my name is Mandy Glam and I'm back with another perfume video so if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by I really appreciate it so just to give you a little background information about my channel basically I talk about fragrances um, I do a lot of perfume reviews I've also started to incorporate um, some makeup reviews or makeup tutorials. I've also started some story times. Make sure y'all check out my story times. They're very interesting. So I'm trying to bring you guys a story maybe like one or two like every other week or every two weeks. I haven't really figured out how I'm going to, um, well not how I'm going to, but basically when I'm going to do my story times. Um, but yeah. If you're not a part of my uh, Glam Fam, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, click the notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. That way, you don't miss any of my videos, honey. Okay, let's stay connected, okay? And if you are part of the Glam Fam already, thank you so much. Thank you for returning. So, now, if you are familiar with me, and you've been rocking with me since I started my channel. Um, basically, I've had a channel for a while now. Um, and I just started getting into perfume reviews. So, if you've been following me since I've been talking about my fragrance uh, fragrances or fragrance reviews, then you already know how much I love Terry Mugler fragrances, okay? Now... Don't beat me up over this video, okay? I know you guys are probably like tired of people talking about this particular fragrance and I get it, I understand. So this video is probably gonna be for those just like me who is building up their fragrance collection and they're thinking about buying this particular fragrance and they wanna know what the hype is because actually I really feel like because I'm just jumping on the fragrance bandwagon per se or the fragrance videos I have a lot of catching up to do um, when it comes to other perfume reviewers so when I first started like looking at other perfume um, youtubers they talked about this fragrance quite a bit okay and so I had to see what the hype was about okay so I'm talking about none other than um, Alien by Terry Mugler. So I'm very um, torn between this, how I feel about this fragrance, okay? So I don't own a full bottle of the original Alien, okay? I just um, added to my collection Alien um, Old Sublime. So, and this is the Eau de Toilette. So, okay. Now, you may have seen a previous video where I talked about Alien. I think I pulled Alien in a mystery bag video some months back, okay? And um, I didn't give it a very good review. Now, my mind really hasn't changed about the original Alien fragrance, okay? Now, why I decided to buy this one, you're asking, probably because, you know, this one has the same DNA, so you're probably thinking to yourself, why would you buy this one when you don't like the original? I'm going to explain. I'm going to get into that, okay? Because I am a lover of Terry Mugler, I felt like I had to give this fragrance a chance. Maybe not the original, but maybe one of the flankers. Now, I think there's this flanker, Sublime, and I think there's about three other fragrances or maybe four other fragrances of flanker fragrances of Alien. So let's just start at the beginning, okay? We're just going to start at the beginning. We're going to start with the original Alien fragrance. We're going to get into a couple of things because... I really wanted to give this fragrance a chance for several reasons. Now, when I was watching the reviews, all the ladies um, were going on about how this fragrance attracts men, okay? I heard this more than once. Like, 
this fragrance is very popular amongst men so you know i'm single or whatever so you know <laughs> however i can get it okay so i said well i had a sample of it I actually have two samples of it and so i wanted to you know i pulled it i, I believe i pulled it on that first mystery bag video i did or maybe the second one but anyway i have the the sample here of the original alien fragrance okay and this is in the um eau de parfum so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a whiff now again this video is not for you you know people that's new to the game this video is going to be for those who may be interested in purchasing alien or one of the flankers okay now yes i remember this fragrance very distinctly this is a very unique fragrance it's a very soapy fragrance um, it reminds me of a particular old school soap that my grandma used to have in her house, okay? It's very soapy to me. I want to get the notes on it because I want to be accurate in the description of this fragrance. Because it's very unique. Like most of Terry Mugler's fragrances are very unique in their own way. So, I want to make sure I give you guys the notes on this fragrance okay so um let's see this fragrance is considered to be a white floral amber woody balsamic fragrance this is according to fragrantica i don't know why i can't say fragrantica <laughs> fragrantica <laughs> this is according to fragrantica okay um let's see it was launched in uh, 2005. The notes are um, white amber, Indian jasmine, but it doesn't really go into detail about the notes. Um, I mean, according to Fragrantica, it only has three notes um, amber and a white floral. I guess that's the jasmine. Um, but it's it's very, very unique. It's not going to be for everybody. I will tell you that straight off the bat. It's not going to be for everybody. Um, but people say this is a very attention-getting perfume with the men. Okay? Now, I wouldn't wear this per se... I guess you could get away with wearing it really in the spring or in the summer. Really anytime you wanted to, honestly. Me, I probably, if I just had to wear it, I probably would reserve it for winter time. That's just me. Okay. Um, I want to see if I can find another website that has better notes. I looked at it, I googled it, and it says the same thing. It came out in 2005. The notes consist of a warm white amber with woodsy notes and a top note of Indian jasmine. It has a quite heavy sillage and it's very long lasting. That, yes, those are true facts. The projection on this is beast mode and the longevity. I did one time spray it on my hand because I want to be fair. Like I want to be fair to all my Terry Mugler fragrances because that is like my ultimate all-time favorite perfume house is from the house of Terry Mugler. I just love the bottles. I love the uniqueness of the fragrance and I just love them. I've not smelled every fragrance by Terry Mugler. Um, I do want to add Womanity to my collection at some point. I do want to smell it. I've never smelled it. If you smelled it before, comment below and let me know what you think about it and if you think I should purchase it. Now, just to give you a little background on which ones I like from Terry Mugler, I love the original um, Angel. I love the Flanker Angel Muse. I don't have any of the other Angel Flankers but the Muse. I love um, Aura. Aura is a very unique fragrance as well. It has a slight little medicinal tinge to it when you first spray it, but as it dries down 
it turns into a very uh, sweet vanilla green fragrance like wet green fragrance yeah it's a very green fragrance um and now i've added alien old sublime to my collection so we're gonna get into this one now and i know you guys are probably thinking like girl Again, if you didn't like the original Alien, why would you buy this one? Because it's not like I don't like it all the way. I just, I feel like it's very, it, it will take me time to get used to like, you know, I don't like dislike it, but um, it didn't speak to me at first sniff, if that makes sense to y'all. It didn't speak to my spirit, okay? So after I reviewed some other, after I watched some other YouTubers talk about this one, I said, okay, it's supposed to be more subtle, a little bit more citrusy, sunny. Um, you know, it's not, doesn't have that boom factor in the original. So, you know, I wanted to give it a try. Have you ever just like, not liked an original perfume, but you got the flanker and then you felt better about it. You liked the flanker, but you didn't like the original. You ever been in a situation like that? That's the situation I'm in right now with the Alien, okay? So I got this one off of um, FragranceNet.com. So it does come uh, with a little card, you know, their fragrances come with this card. I guess it's a card of authenticity or something. Authenticity. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. It just comes with like a little card. I guess it's asking for your information and stuff. You can fill it out, but I don't fill it out. But this is the bottle. And I think the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I love the gold. I love the white. Um, it's just a really, really cute bottle. If you know anything about Terry Mugler fragrances, you know the bottle is going to be different from anything you probably have in your collection they're just known for having these really unique bottles and I like it it kind of reminds me of something from outer space which I think is what they was going for so let me go ahead and spray it a little bit now I did spray it on myself when I first got it um, and uh, see and it's already different it's already it already hit different. It just hits different for me. Which is why I like I like this one. Because it's different. It is it is warm. It is kind of almost like a beachy, sunny type vibe to it. Then I'm gonna get the notes on it because I wanna be accurate with the notes. Okay, so here are the notes. So, well, actually, let me give you a little bit of a background. So, this one came out in 2017, so not that long ago. Um, it is considered to be a white floral citrus, amber, powdery, woody fragrance, okay? Um, so, it jasmine is the heart uh, of the fragrance, and it also has cherry blossom, it has heliotrope. It has uh, something called Tierra flower. Um, the base has cashmere, woody, uh, vetiver, and white amber. So you guys know. Y'all know what I like. If y'all been following me for a while, you know I'm big into vetiver. You know I'm big into um, a lot of woody notes. And so that's why I, I'm glad I went with this one. Now don't get it twisted. It still has the alien DNA, but it's not so in your face. You know what I'm saying? It's not like here with it. Like, it's not here. It's kind of like more like right here. <laughs> not here, but more like, you know, live right here. I can live with that. I can live with that. I can't live with this. I, I can't live with this, but I can live with this. So that's why I went with it because I was like, you know, if they if the fragrance does what it, people say it do, attract men, I'm with that. Okay, I'm trying to attract my husband. Okay, so I, I might need this in my life. But 
I'm glad this was really a blind buy for me. I had not smelled this prior to getting it in the mail. So I was really anxious to get it. Um, and I'm happy that I have it. I'm happy that I have it in my collection. It also makes me want to venture out and try the other flankers. I think that now since we're starting to open up, I know we're opening up in Texas, I think I'd rather go to the department store and smell it there if I can, um, if at all possible, before I spend my money on it. Um, but yeah, this was a pretty good, I got lucky. I got lucky because I really didn't know what to expect. But it has all the notes that I love and it still has that alien DNA, but again, I can live with it on the fence with it I think that it's a really nice fragrance I think it's very unique in its own way I think it's beautiful this and I actually would let me smell them side by side that's what I'll do so this is the original and this is the flanker so even with this one of course the original is still um, it's, it's, it's kind of um, masculine almost to me. I don't know. But this one, this is the um, Eau Sublime. This one um, is more subtle. So I like, the, I like that one. But yeah, again, if you're interested in purchasing this, I think that um, it is a really good buy. And, you know, if you want to add it to your Alien, um, your Terry Mugler collection, you can't go wrong with this one. So if you guys have any of the other flankers um, by Terry Mugler, comment below and let me know what you think. Also, since you guys know how infatuated I am with Terry Mugler, Terry Mugler, go ahead and comment below and let me know what fragrances you think I should add to my Mugler collection. I really would like to know. I know I want to add Womanity um, at some point and I'm thinking that I want to add the new one of the new um reformulated um, a, um angel fragrances so i haven't decided i'm in no rush to do it i'll take my time with it but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was very informative if you like these comparison type videos let me know i'll do more of them um again if you're new to my channel thank you so much for watching this video go ahead and click the subscribe button go ahead and click the notification bell it will notify you every time i upload a video and if you are a member of the mandy glam fam thank you so much for your um loyalty honey thank you so much for all the wonderful comments that you guys leave down below i really appreciate that so Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.